Hello everybody and welcome back to some roguelike roulette while playing Risk Rain 2 again and I have just been really enjoying doing these little challenges and things we've been doing here. So let's play as, do you know what, we haven't played as the Artificer yet. Let's play as the Artificer, go Monsoon. Um, Artificer is kind of difficult because you don't really have the opportunity to... Um, to get away. She's got one ability that's really good for getting away, but I haven't unlocked it yet. So let's go with monster drop items on death, and that'll be it. And we'll just try and play that out and see how that goes. But I'm, I'm kind of, I'm ready for this. Looking to enjoy myself. It's the first time playing the Artificer on this series. Um, she's interesting. I, as I said, I find her pretty difficult to play. Because her main shot is like a charge up, and I, I think that's really janky. But and then you've got that. But then the biggest thing is this: you got this ice wall that insta killed that guy. What it kind of does is though, it it like weakens enemies ready for your other attacks. It's kind of like a combo, and also she has this big old fire beam, which is especially nice. Uh, pretty difficult to play though, in my opinion. I I think she's a cool ca a cool class i just i really find it difficult to find where she sits and know how to properly play her hey we got an item already hey that's pretty good right put that down there see the things that walk into it they get kind of the effect that you get with um the, the old guillotine where they have less HP for uh, your other attacks. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Basically, the way we want to get this character working is ugh, make sure she's held up in the air as long as possible. There you go. Got him. And then we'll um, probably wait. For, I'd, I'd like to wait for like one more item, maybe, if we can get that. Okay, have you just jumped over all my shots? That's very close range. I did not realize that at the time. Good to know. I see you over there, Ice Beetle. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, what a shot. Boom, boom, boom. Missed with that one. No, sir. No, thank you. Nice. I should be dead. No item, though. Doesn't look like we're going to get much more here. Let's uh, let's spawn that boss in here. See what we can get going on. So, Wandering Vagrant is a little tough for us. A little tough for us because we can't really put the wall on the Wandering Vagrant, really. It's going to be kind of tough. As I said, this this class is just tough to play, in my opinion. It, it, really, it, it really hurts at the start. That's the biggest time that, that you find that you've really noticed the uh, difficulty with this class. Like right now where we're about to die. Oh my god. We're so close to dying right now. Oh my god, we are so close to death. No! I almost died to fall damage. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I just find this class so difficult to play, but we'll stick with it. We'll see if we can get something going on. If not, though, we'll, we'll just change to someone that I find a little more comfortable with. Uh, but yeah, we definitely need to be getting up in the air. Uh, that was a pretty good start, but it didn't really pan out, did it? I just really, I, I don't know, I really find it janky that she has a limited usage on her main attack. I'd rather it be unlimited and just do a lot less damage. That'd make way more sense to me. It's very hard to use a main attack that has a limited amount of uses. I mean, it does good damage, so that's nice. But it's also a projectile, so it's really hard to hit things that are flying. It's quite a lot of trouble with that, too. Especially when they're moving around a lot. Of course, the fire damage is, like, a huge plus. Fire damage is helping us out a whole hell of a lot. But yeah, getting the Wonder of Vagrant there was definitely not what we needed. Definitely not what we needed. Take you out. Lovely. We need to be killing as many things as possible at this point. Just to get some items. 
obviously none so far. Also, it only stacks up to four. It should stack up to like ten. So it's not like ultimately spammable, but you still have enough to kill bigger targets. Okay, so you can't combo your energy ball on your fire breath thing, because otherwise it cancels the other one out. Good to know. Hmm. No items yet. This is a little sad. It's always sad to see when you get, like, no items right near the start here, because we're about ready to, to use that teleporter, to be honest. And we've got nothing so far. Absolutely nothing. Flamethrower you. I'm not really using my ice wall as much as I should be. I try it again, quite awkward to use though. Really? No items still? Okay, it's boss time then, I guess, with no items. Oh god, we're so dead. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know how to play this class in the slightest. I I think that's apparent. Look at this, I'm firing like one ball a second. It's so... Oh, yeah, she's awful. <laughs> We're not playing as her. I'm sorry, but she just, sucks. she just sucks. I feel like all of the classes, other than the main three that I play, kind of suck. <laughs> we'll play as Mercenary, I guess. He's different. But yeah, I, I don't know. I find I find that the class is just... So many of them are just crap. Like, they just have so much of a weaker start. I mean, they can ball out of control if you get the right items, but that can be said for any character, really. Oh, yeah, if you just get the exact right items, they're great. This guy's interesting. We have played as him once on these series, I do believe. Okay, we're having a real hard time hitting things already here. But yeah, he, he he does a lot more damage. I like him a lot more. Good, good, good. Let's take you out. Slice and dice. And got you as well. Nice. But yeah, we're getting unlucky with our item drops, to say the least. I was hoping to get like a good few early on here, and we're, we're getting very few. There's an enemy stuck under here, I think, yeah. I see ya. I see ya. His basic attack kind of lets him down here. Oh, there you go. Hey, that's pretty decent. If we'd get something that's going to help with critical strikes, that'd be pretty good. His R ability is really where he shines. I think it, the rest of his attacks are kind of garbage. Like this, like that, that. That's pretty nice. But um, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, that that little rolly one there is just meh. It's, it's so, it's it's just meh. That's exactly what it is. It's meh. His base attack does very low damage too. This is just complainathon for me today. Not doing well. Just playing like crap. Okay, so we got our first crit there. Definitely need more of those coming our way. Uh. Right. I think we can dash over to you and that'll do deal pretty good damage. And then we can use R to finish you off. Yeah, there you go. We got an item out of that too. Uh, I don't know what Backup Magazine does for us here. Um, oh, it's this. Okay, we, we're not getting too much out of that. We've got another item there. And another item. Crit glasses are perfect. Extra boss damage is welcome. And we've got enough here to make me think we can just go for our boss here. Who is it? Vagrant is fine. I like the way you can just push the Vagrant around. Okay, we're going to die here if I'm careful. Like, we can just go doop, doop. Push it into the ground there. Nice one. We got our item there. That's pretty good. Sprinting uh, is going to reduce the damage we take. I can get behind that. Got another item here and another item. This is this is going way better than last time. Monster Seed isn't great, but up close and personal, we can make a use of it. Uh, 
Hey, and another item. Wow. Okay, this is going well. Way more items than last time. Finish you off. Want to kill all the enemies before we leave here, considering how lucky we're getting. Keep that looker going. Seems like we've run out of luck though now. Booyah! Nice. Just love holding myself in the air like that. Right. Go for a Hail Mary. Last few ones. Nah, we got nothing there. Oh, there we go. That's a pretty good amount of items, though. If we can keep on with that amount, then we are, we are going to be set. We are going to be looking pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Does this... There's a, there's a bug over here. I wonder if it still works. There used to be a bug where if you got up on this little ledge here, which I can't seem to do right now. There you go. And then you could, like, jam yourself into this corner and go through the wall. Or was it, like, right here, maybe? Ahaha! <laughs> it does still work. Right, let's get ourselves some items. If you don't know about this area... It's a little secret area with some bosses in it. Oh, do they not... They don't spawn after you unlock the item, apparently. I thought they did. So maybe we can't get ourselves some items from in here. Sad times. Sad times. What happens if we fall down here? Nothing, because you can't fall down there. So we might be stuck in here. I may have made a mistake. I think we can get back out, though. But yeah, so if you haven't done this area yet, as the commander, I think you can do it as the huntress as well. Uh, you can blink through the wall. Get in here a little easier. I think now we've got to go here, I think it is. There you go. Can't believe that's not fixed yet. You're supposed to have to do like a little puzzle to get through that. Not us. I ain't doing no puzzle. Gives a good amount of time to wait for the enemies to start stacking up on us though. Nice. Whee! <laughs> Look at that angle he's at there. Right, got to remember there's no chests about, so we're just looking for things to kill. Um, you, sir, are of the premium variety. Get you two. No items yet. Still nothing. Oh god, the, the dashing ability is so nice. With that triple dash. Nothing from you. We do have a 3D printer over there. That could be of you. It is sprint faster. Probably don't want to lose my uh, crit glasses for that, though. Do you know what, though? Being fast, it's, it's worth it. I'm going to use it at least once. If it takes my crit glasses straight away, it didn't. Okay. I'm going to do one more use. Nice. One more use. Yes. Okay. I'm happy. That's enough. Three of these for sprint faster. Oh my god, I almost killed myself on that there. Got you. Kill a few of those. Nice. Oh, beautiful. But yeah, that sprint speed is going to be really nice. Allows us to get around a little bit faster. Especially considering we get this defensive bonus while we're, she uh, while we're sprinting anyways. We're going to want to be sprinting even more often. Ooh, although... Although... Full tri-tip dagger... I would rather have full tri-tip dagger. If I could keep my crit glasses, I'd be super happy, but if they go, they go. 
Nope, this is what I'm going to go with. I know I just said that how good the sprint would be. But tri-tip dagger on this guy is pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Right, where's our boss? He's over there. So, have we got any item drops on this floor yet? Oh, no, we got the meat, didn't we? And that's it. But, yeah, that makes our base attack way better. Nice. Let's go and do our boss, I guess, because we're not getting any items this floor. We use up all our luck on the first floor, apparently. I'm just got to deal with that fact. Keep on moving on. Damn, we're really not getting lucky here. No items for us. See how the boss does us. Should be pretty fine to take out this boss with relative ease. This one could do a lot of damage to us, so I'm a bit worried about that. But, if it doesn't do the certain attack that I'm thinking it's going to do at some point, we might be okay. Okay, nice. That's the one, that's the one. No, no, no. That attack's so brutal. It does so much damage, and there's basically nothing you can do to avoid it. Right, so we're getting kills to get our regen going. Oh, my. Why? Claire Dune Strider, why do you exist? To only cause more pain. I'm just trying to kill him as quick as I can. Okay, he's doing it. He's doing it. Uh, no. No. That was the wrong enemy to attack there, game. Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. Now we just got to survive. Which is uh, a, a trick on it in of, of its own. Oh, my God. I'm out of wisps right now. Oh, is that a Will of the Wisp? No, it's not. It's a band. Kara's band. Everyone's band. It's good. I'll take it. I will take it. My god, how do we kill this many enemies and we didn't get a single item drop? You kidding me, game? Don't hurt me. Let me in the portal. We've got no item drops. Why can't I go through this portal? Okay, there you go. Finally. No items for us. I don't even know why we got this. Was this just like a random chance thing? Because I definitely didn't touch the... Uh... Oh, no. Whoopsie. 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 I always forget that you can't triple dash. If uh, You can only do that if there's enemies nearby. Hmm. Not anything we want there. Not anything we want there either. Well, this was worthless. Later, big boy. Later, big boy. Right, let's carry on. We, we we desperately need some more items now. That that floor was just atrocious for items. I mean, we got to trade and, and get some stuff we wanted. But yeah, that, that, that floor was pretty atrocious for items there. Uh, what is that? We've only got one green. It's that, it's that item, so that doesn't really work for us. Hoi. Boom. Yeah, you should be taken out pretty easily here. That tri tip dagger's doing us good. Seems like we get a defensive buff whenever we use that attack. Hey, there's an item. It's another tri tip as well. That's pretty good. Happy with that. Oh, 
Okay, come on. More items. As you get later in the stage, you do tend to get more and more items, so... Should hopefully get a few here. How did that not hit you? How did that dash not hit you, you evil little shit? Whee! I've never understood why you have to pay to turn those on. It makes no sense, really. Oh god, I got shit all over my screen. Let's give my screen a good rub down. It's dirty. Got him. Where are these enemies at? Spawn more so I can kill more of you. Come on now. Ah, did I get stuck under here? Can I go through that gap? This is the problem with the um, killing enemies drops items. You can get more, but you can also get so much less. I like it because it means you don't have to focus on running around and uh, finding chests. You can just focus on fighting. But not enough things are spawning for that to be a big focus right now. Give me an item. But you dare not. God damn it. Okay. At least we're killing things relatively quickly here. I mean, our tri-tip dagger is really helping out. All that bleed. Hey, we've got an item. And it's crit glasses. Yes. It's huge for us. Just for the damage output, but also the um, the mask. The, green, the only green item we currently have. Which we'll hopefully get another one of at the end of the stage. Oh, no, we, we have another green item. We have the band, don't we, of course. Get him. Come here, you. Right, that does so much damage. Good, good. Still, in a bit of awe that we haven't really got that many items yet. I mean, come on. Give us a few, please. I think next stage is where it starts to pop off. Maybe we just want to do that and like try and rush to the later stages. Maybe that'll help. Just the numbers you need to kill, though, isn't it? Just, it doesn't matter what enemy it is, it's just the, the numbers. Alright, good. Right, where's our boss residing? Over there. I guess we'll go and do that, then. Have a turret. So why not, I guess. There we go, got you. Give me a legendary. Red item. Oh, that is an item at least. And that's a pretty good one for a melee character too. So I can't complain about that too much. I do love doing that to all the wisps though. Hey, dude. How are you doing? This guy shouldn't be too bad for us to stay up close and personal to as long as we don't stay on the floor. As long as we kind of stay up in the air. Yeah, once you get on the floor is where he starts dealing a lot of damage. Oh, we're dead. Well then. Well then, that was insane. <laughs> I got hit by poison, not poison, I bleed, and we immediately died. Ah, it's a shorter episode today, but we are going to leave it there. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we're going to swap out Risk of Run 2 soon for another series, so please do let me know if there's anything you want me to do on Risk of Run 2 to sort of end this series out, and other games you want to see on this series. That's a big thing. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.